Aisha Yesufu blasts former President Gulag Jonathan for what he did in 2015. Popular human rights activist and one of the strong campaigners of the NSAS movement, Aisha Yesufu has blasted former President Gulag Ebele Jonathan for his silence in 2015 when the Boko Haram terrorists killed over 2,000 Nigerians. In her tweet, she said, What is Buhari doing that Jonathan did not do? <laughs> Did you tell Jonathan about the 2,000 Nigerians that were killed by Boko Haram in January 2015, a month to election before postponement by 2025 Buhari's will be forming activists? Kai, we don't suffer for Ninja. She was reacting to a tweet by a social media influencer who was supporting Good Luck Ebele Jonathan during its, his regime and his quick reaction to Boko Haram killings then. Aisha Yesufu said good luck Jonathan was silent when over 2,000 Nigerians were killed by the notorious Boko Haram terrorists but spoke when some were killed in France few days later. Aisha Yesufu is one of the most respected and loved women rights crusader in Nigeria. She became more popular during the Free Chibok Girls campaign and the NSAS protest. The NSAS protest was aimed at restoring sanity into the Nigerian police force and demanding for the scrapping of the Special anti robbery Squad SAS unit of the force. What do you have to say about the position of Aisha Yesufu about good luck, a Billy Jonathan administration? Do you think Jonathan is just like President Muhammad Buhari? You are listening to Independent TV7. Please share, like, comment and follow this account for more latest news and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel we're going to be giving you politics sports news about society and entertainment updates don't forget aisha yusufu is one of the strongest activists that is campaigning against bad governance and i want you to share your view over this issue south african politicians malay attacks jonathan says president responsible over silence on baga which she claimed that even if Terrorists are and bandits are disturbing or killing people in Nigeria. Jonathan shouldn't have kept quiet over this issue. But I would like you to know that this your comments will go a long way. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for listening and God bless you.